Hello and welcome to the dashboard course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I'll show you how to use camera tool in Excel and how you can use it to enhance your dashboards. So let's get started. Here I have three years number of arrivals data for the top 10 countries. So I got this data from World Bank and although I'm recording this video in 2015, the data is a bit outdated but that's okay because my intent in this video is to show you how camera tool works. Now before I show you how it works, the first thing is where the heck is camera tool? Because if you go through the ribbon, if you go through quick access toolbar, you would not find it. And the reason is Excel team has not put it already in the ribbon. So if you have to use camera tool, you would have to first add it. And to do that, just go to the ribbon, uh, the quick access toolbar, right click and go to customize quick access toolbar. When you click on this, it opens the Excel options dialog box. Here I would select all commands and when I scroll down and go to C, here I would find camera. I simply have to add it and click OK. And as soon as I do this, the camera tool appears in the quick access toolbar. Now to use camera tool, you would first have to select the data that you want to take a picture of and then click on the camera tool. As soon as you do this, you would see that plus sign and you can click anywhere else in the worksheet. And as soon as you do this, you can see that it has created an image of the data that you selected. Now, this is a live image, which means that if I change the data here, this picture would update itself. For example, here, if I change, say, France to India, then you can see that in real time, it got updated in this picture. So this is the benefit of camera tool. You can have the data anywhere you want in your workbook, but if you have that image in the dashboard or in your data, then that image would automatically update whenever there is a change in the backend data. So now you can see that camera tool would create this image. You can put this image in this same worksheet or you can put it in some other worksheet and if I click on it you can see it refers to A1 is to E12 which is the data I selected. Now if you want to just play around with it try and see what happens if I make this A2 and as soon as I click enter you would see that the picture has updated. The reason being now it refers to A2 to E12. So now the picture has the data from these cells. So you can use this camera tool to create dashboard. But first thing is you need to know that whenever you create an image using this camera tool icon, it would give a border to the picture. So you would, if you like it, it's all right. Otherwise you can simply remove it by going to format picture. So this is how you can use camera tool in Excel. Using this data, I have created a couple of tables and a chart. So here in this table tab, I have added a column for 2012 trend, which has these traffic lights indicating whether uh, there has been an increase in number of arrivals or not. Uh, we can see that in every country, there has been an increase except UK, where there has been a decline of 0.1 percentage. I also have a chart here which shows us uh, 2012 numbers in a, a horizontal bar chart and I also have the continent data where it's for Europe, North America and Asia where I show 2010 to 2012 trend where we can see that North America has seen the highest number of people an increment, uh, highest increment from 2010 to 2012. Now I have also created this summary tab using the camera tool. And what you can see here is that these are not tables. These are not data that resides in the worksheet in this tab. Rather, it's a picture which refers to table B2 to F13, which is this tab. Similarly, I have this chart which, re which refers to chart E1 to L16 here in chart tab. And similarly, I have the continent data. And you can see that there the are certain benefits which uh, makes this camera tool so useful. First is you can move this data and you can see I don't need to worry about column widths or anything else. I can simply move it and place it anywhere. So if you have a dashboard where you need to just put in some 
chart or some data or some conditional formatting thing then you can use this technique this camera tool to put it there now there is another way to do this without using camera tool icon and I'll show you how to do this so here I have the table I can simply select this table I would press control C and then wherever I have to put this tables image the uh, the live image I would go to home here in paste I would select linked picture and as soon as I click on link picture it creates an image and you can see here now I have an image of the same thing I've not used camera tool icon but I've used a paste technique and you can see if I change this data here again the same thing happens one benefit here is that while camera tool inserts a border automatically in this case there would be no border so you can use either of these techniques it uh, really doesn't make a difference but the idea is that you can use camera tool in your dashboard to create quick summaries and these would be live images if you change the data in the back end then these images would automatically update so that's it in this video I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day